A sense of normalcy has returned to the community of Joslovo in Langa days after a fire left 1,200 people displaced. Human Settlements Deputy Minister Pam Drete is expected to visit the community this morning. For more on this story, uh, I'm joined by Nasipi Same, who is tracking the developments on the ground. Nasipi, a very good morning to you. As, of course, uh, uh, residents and community members there try and rebuild their lives, there have been many losses suffered as a result of this fire. Well, poor another tragedy. I mean, the community of Joslovo in form of settlement um, obviously have not slept since the Saturday after the fire broke that left uh, 300 households where we're currently standing and uh, leaving also 1,200, if not more people, destitute and have a uh, rather homeless and to talk to us about, um, you know, the loss, including the assistance that this community has received since then, I'm joined here by Uta. Thank you so much for your question, But um, earlier on, we were talking about what you have lost. Okay, I, I lost my, my, all my clothes and my my everything and uh, my medication was lost and my food here yeah, I lost it and I need I, I need help anyone who can donate to us to build our houses again. Udada, have you heard about uh, the donations that have been made including businessman Petrus Musipe donating about three million rand to assist uh, people who have lost their homes how do you think that money is going to assist you? I, I wish that money can, can, can help us so that we can build our houses and we can do the, our IDs because we lost even our IDs and our clothes. But I think that money can help us. And then, Dada, I see that a number of people have put up homes. Those that have money, of course, have went and bought material. Talk to us about your situation. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have work. That's why I'm... I, 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 I'm not do, I'm not building again my house, so I'm I don't have my I don't have work. Other people they got work, that's why they build their houses again. And then we heard that, or rather we know that the deputy minister of human settlement, Mum Pam Chwet, will be here um, to speak to the fire victims and see how she can assist. What would you say to her? You know, if you bumped into her this morning. I I wish. I can I can talk to her so that he can he can help us so that we can we can give us anything so that we can build our houses and can buy our clothes. No matter it's two clothes, it's fine. Yes. Thank you so much, Utata. They're one of the fire victims. Obviously, like many others, um, losing all their belongings to this fire. And we hear that also not only belongings, but also very important documentations like IDs, um, including the treatment that he takes. However, we do know that, uh, you know, the Deputy Minister of Human Settlement, uh, Mam Pam Chwede, will be visiting this community just after 10 o'clock and Udata saying that the only thing that he would say to the Deputy Minister of Human Settlement is that uh, they would like assistance in order for them to rebuild their homes and buy material as many of the people here that are still trying to rebuild have lost their jobs due to COVID-19 and uh, you know we're not really seeing a lot of people in this community and we're hearing that some of them have actually gone to back to work so that normalcy that you were talking about earlier on has kind of been restored for some but not for everyone. We do know that also a number of donations have been trickling in from all corners, clothes, food. Just yesterday alone, uh, one South African leader, Musi Maimane, visited this community to donate food to the soup kitchen to ensure that people are able to at least put something in their stomach, seeing that, you know, groceries have also been lost. Speaking also about the fact that, uh, you know, this fire, this devastating fire that Cape Town usually experiences during the fire season, um, highlights spatial planning and addressing housing development, which he was saying that now is the time to actually look into issues like that. 
And uh, later on yesterday as well, the visit from Bishop Tabo Mahoba, um, you know, speaking to the community, he said something quite interesting that, you know, it's one thing praying from afar, but he wanted to be on the ground in, in, in Joslovo and to see and feel and taste what the people of Joslovo are actually feeling. And he was also here to say that uh, he has reached out to businessmen Petrus Mutsipe and uh, he um, then donated uh, about three million rand to assist the community of Joe Slovo. However, we also know that the city of Cape Town also made that announcement yesterday that uh, they have made an announcement of a major incident, which then means that they will be able to write to national government to ask for that emergency funding. And now we are seeing the deputy minister making her way here. We'll hear from her just after 10 o'clock as to what exactly is she bringing to the table for this community. Nasipi, with uh, donations uh, trickling in and the cold weather also settling in, um, as you make mention of uh, the gentleman who you were speaking to, he talks about not having work, so it means he cannot rebuild his uh, home again. What happens to, to people like him? Where have they been spending the night and what sort of assistance are they receiving? Oh, uh, fortunately for me, he is still here. Dad, if you can talk to, my, to me again, I just want to find out. You're saying that you obviously have lost your job and you cannot rebuild. Where have you been sleeping for the past three days? Oh, I'm, I'm sleeping outside. We build up the, the fire so that we can sleep. Yes, that's right. And how many are you, you know, um, at, at, at night that uh, are sitting around the fire not sleeping? I, it's, it's a lot of people because they put fires every, everywhere. Yeah? If you can see, maybe, maybe, maybe on, our, on our fire, maybe we are 10, others, they are 10 or 15, maybe something like that. So, that there hasn't been any assistance in terms of opening a community hall so that you can go sleep there? Yeah, they, they say there's a hall there, but that hall is full. Is full. So we can't sleep there, all of us. Yes. Mpo, that's what Dada, obviously detailing um, the recent days or the past three days, where exactly they've been sleeping. We're hearing that the hall that was made available to them is obviously full. Hence why people are sleeping outside, you know, around a fire to keep themselves warm. And fortunately, um, the weather in Cape Town has been in their favor because for the past few days, it has been hot, so it was indeed playing in their favor. Can imagine if it was raining or we were in that winter season where we sometimes see 100% chances of rain. Very well, Nasipi. Let's uh, leave it there for now as we continue to keep a close eye on developments there.